Welcome to the Blue Coat Computer Based Training Module Using Policy Tracing on the Proxy SG. This course includes the following topics what policy tracing is, the two types of policy traces, global and policy driven, how to enable policy tracing on the Proxy SG, the components of a policy trace, and a policy tracing example. Policy tracing allows you to track how the Proxy SG policy processing engine handles individual transactions. It's a useful debugging tool for both VPM and CPL policy. Remember that only intercepted traffic can be traced. Because tracing affects performance, use it only when needed. Tracing does not flag malfunctioning policy. It simply reports what the existing policy does. To enable global policy tracing in the Management Console, go to Configuration, Policy, Policy Options, and check Trace All Policy Execution. A global policy trace captures every transaction going through the Proxy SG, regardless of source, destination, or any other parameter. However, this can generate hundreds of thousands of lines of debug code and can put an excessive strain on the Proxy SG, reducing its performance. So it should be used very carefully. Remember to turn global policy tracing off immediately after use. In almost all cases, you will want to create a policy-driven trace in the VPM to determine when a specific rule is matched. This allows you to significantly limit the maximum number of entries found in the policy trace file. As an example, this is a policy trace performed on a simple policy that contains the following rules. Deny the bluecoat.com domain. Allow the client IP. Deny the Firefox user agent and run a policy trace on this policy. Next, we'll look at each section of this policy trace in more detail. In the Layers and Rules section, the first two lines reveal that the rule in the first web access layer, deny the bluecoat.com domain, was matched. The next two lines reveal that the rule in the second web access layer, to allow the client IP, was matched. The next two lines reveal that the rule in the third web access layer, deny the Firefox user agent was matched. The last two lines reveal that the rule in the fourth web access layer to run a policy trace on the client IP was matched. From the connection information section you can see the connection was explicit, the time and date, the original HTTP GET request, the user agent, whether the user was authenticated, and other authentication and authorization information. The policy decision was to deny the request. Although the second rule allowed the client IP, the third rule denied the Firefox user agent. The transaction timing section provides information on how long the various operations took place. In particular, this shows how long it takes a transaction to get through various policy checkpoints, which is helpful when troubleshooting latency issues. Now we'll take a look at an example of how you can use policy tracing to troubleshoot a policy. First, in the VPM, create a rule that allows access to a specific domain, for example, ebay.com. Next, create a rule that blocks access to all auction sites. Finally, create a rule that runs a policy trace. We'll use the IP address of our proxy SG in the source field.
make sure that in the action field deny is deleted and then set the trace in the track field. Let's call it test trace. Now install the policy. Attempt to access ebay.com. Access is denied. To find out why, let's examine the policy trace. Go to Statistics, Advanced, Policy, List of Policy URLs. Click Test Trace. Inspect the policy trace, especially the decision section. We can see that it is denied because the rule to deny all auction sites comes after the rule to do allow ebay.com. We can fix this by going back to the VPM and changing the order of the rules so that the rule to allow ebay.com comes after the rule to deny auction sites. Install the policy. Now try going to ebay.com again. Access is granted. Thank you for watching. This concludes the Using Policy Tracing on the Proxy SG training. For more information on policy related topics, visit the following Bluecoat resources the Knowledge Base at bto.bluecoat.com and the Customer Discussion Forums available at forums.bluecoat.com. For additional questions or comments regarding this training module, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.